Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to mixtures. A solution of acid and water contains 20% acid. What percentage of water must be evaporated to make it a 40% acid solution? A solution of acid and water contains 20% acid. That means 20% acid, 80% water. What percentage of water must be evaporated to make it a 40% acid solution? That means in the final mixture we should have 40% acid and 60% water. That's how it should be 40% acid and 60% water. So to solve this problem simply what we will do? We will take the total quantity of the mixture acid and water the solution itself as 1000 ml or 1 liter. If I take 1000 ml, let us say this is our acid here and water here. Initially, 20% of 1000, that means 200 ml acid is there, then water is 800 ml. Now, they are asking us what percentage of water must be evaporated to make it a 40% acid solution. That means the water needs to go down but the acid will remain the same because you are evaporating water but you are not changing the quantity of the acid. So in the final ratio whatever they have given acid will be 200 ml. We don't know water how much it will be but we know that ratio is 40 percent that means 40 is to 60. Can we simplify this? This is nothing but 2 is to 3 ratio. If this is 2 is to 3 ratio, automatically we know that x equals to 300. That means in the final solution, we will have 500 ml left out. Out of that, 200 ml will be acid and 300 ml will be water. So, we started with 800 ml water and we came down to 300 ml. That means evaporated is 500 ml. In 800 ml water, 500 ml is evaporated. If 100 ml if you take, how much you need to evaporate? That is nothing but 100 into 500 divided by 800. Simplify that, you get 62.5 percent. That means 62 point percentage of water must be evaporated to make it a 40 percent acid solution. Let's have a recap of this. A solution of acid and water contains 20 percent acid. What percentage of water must be evaporated to make it a 40 percent acid solution? Our solution is we just took it as 1000 ml round figure so that calculations will become easy. Initially 20 percent acid that means 80 percent is water. Accordingly 200 ml is acid and 800 ml is water. How much per what percentage of water must be evaporated that means water is going down but the acid will remain the same that's good for us because we know that out of 40 is to 60 40 percent is 200 ml then what will be 60 percent because now the water percentage is 60 percent in the final solution 60 percent is 300 that means water came down from 800 to 300 that means 500 ml of water is evaporated out of 800 500 is evaporated in 100 ml how much is evaporated that is 100 into 500 by 8 62.5 Therefore, the water percentage is 62.5 percentage of water must be evaporated to make it a 40 percent acid solution from 20 percent acid solution. 